<laughs> he turned around. Where are you going, buddy? Hello, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, D-Day, bringing you more Let's Play Manufactio. I upload a new episode of Modded Minecraft every Sunday at 11 a.m., so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. Smash like if you feel I earned it, and also consider leaving a BOOM in the comment section below. And if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. Best Boy Lash! Uh, okay. Today we're going to be working on the chemical plant and uh, fabricating plastic and maybe some sulfur. So let's see, we first of all need to get the chemical plant blueprint. I have it ready, yeah, there we go. So that's the recipe for the blueprint right there. Uh, I went ahead and I already made everything I need for six of these chemical plants. The only new item is the firebox casing which is machine casings and firebox. It's not that difficult. So with that, let me check. Yep, we can put them in here. And let's head back to the uh, area that we have all of our fluids stored for right now. Uh, it has been a couple of days and uh, both of the reservoirs of large oil have been completely worn out and everything has been processed into these guys. That's why now we can see that there's fluid in each of them. So the first one that I wanna put down is going to be over here. So let's see. All right, there we go. So I went ahead and I cut uh, the holes in the bottom already that we're going to need. Uh, I put the chimneys in place. This actually was kind of a disaster to put together. Uh, I knew that the carbon was going to be coming out of the energy input hatch, but with these newer modular machines, these machine vents, this is where the sulfur is going to be coming out. So we need a chimney for each of these guys, not just for the power source. And it's unfortunate because I realized over here with this guy, the vents are at the very top. So sulfur is coming out the top, it's unfortunate, but hey, that's what we got to deal with. Let's see, it should keep, there we go, yeah, it keeps the direction in place. So we can drop these guys right here like this, perfect. Okay, so the first one is going to be for sulfur, actually. So let's jump down and uh, connect these pipes first. There we go, this is the area, I've cut out everything, and I've changed the chimneys so that the carbon comes out the middle one, comes over here, comes out of this chimney here and floats up. Then I have the two vents coming down on a different Y level, comes through these vents, and comes out of these guys here. And then I changed the exit for the pollution uh, into a pump and vents. So if I'm I'm hoping I'm right, this will come up and get pulled into these vents and spit out the top. So hopefully that will actually work. All right, so to get the gasoline, we're gonna have to come in through the bottom in the middle right here. So let's see, how am I gonna pull this one off? Hook up here, hook down here, and then go into the middle. Yeah, perfect. So there we go, this will be our pipe for gasoline. way and up perfect so now we have to tag this guy with a lever and now this guy should be gasoline yep gasoline there we go and as soon as we get power going on this guy we're gonna have uh, water in there as well so there we go let's beep this guy we're going to need two one two and two of these guys. All right, so let's set these infinite water sources first, and then we can put all the pumps down. And fluid pump. Fluid pump. 
we're also going to need to pump these fluids out of the front of this unit. So we're going to attach the fluid pump straight to the front of the output hatch right there and right there. Then we need to shift input, so one right click to input on the other side. There we go. We're already making sulfur, which is an unfamiliar item for right now. I'm just setting up these areas uh, so that we can get everything going at the same time. These two machines that are here are going to be dedicated for uh, recycling fluids. So we need to come up here with one of them. We need to come up here with the other. The middle one is going to be to recycle the lubricant into uh, more gasoline. So let's go this way and let's come downstairs. All right, so let's bring the lubricant pipe this way. How are you doing? Lubricant, nice. And water. And then I can't access what's behind it. Let me check real quick. Yep, it's making gasoline. So let's go ahead and put the pump back. One input output, and fluid pipes. And we're gonna go this way. Yep, there's a sulfur stuck over here as well. There we go, and you're gone. Yep, you're gone. Perfect, I'm so happy that this works. All right, so I want this gasoline to uh, come back into the main pipeline. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this guy up front, this direction. We're gonna go through here. Yep. Just like the other one, we're gonna go in front of the other unit. There we go. So this guy, let's set him up first. We need diesel to come in this side here. So let's go like this. Whoops. We need to go down one. Diesel will come in here and will be turned into lubricant. So here we go. We're gonna go through the middle one now. The middle one is diesel. Let's come down. Like this. Not like that. And just like lubricant will come up like this. There we go. So you're on a different Y level? Yes. So let's go. Let the diesel flow. All right, so diesel should be in here now. Perfect. Water should be in the other one. Yep. And then the middle should be lubricant. There we go, now we're con converting the diesel into lubricant. So we're gonna have an excess of diesel, it's getting converted into lubricant, which is going to get put into the main pipeline. Then we're also going to be converting the lubricant into more gasoline, which is gonna go get fed into the main pipeline. It's gonna go this way. So let's tag this guy now, shift one click, under. There we go, and then this guy. Can come here. Yeah. 
and we'll feed this guy into the main pipeline so that they can go straight back into the pipes. Boom. Now we have them being fed back into the main ones that go into the main three that go into the fluid tanks. Perfect. It's a nice cycle. And we'll be able to use the levers that we have on all of them to turn them on and off so that if one of the fluids runs away from us, we can convert it into uh, any of the other three fluids that we wish, which most likely we're going to need mostly gasoline. So everything being turned into gasoline is going to be super fine. Processing, perfect. You're working. You're working, excellent. And do I have extra planks? We can fill these holes now. Nice. So these are the three chemical plants for the three fluids, but we're not done yet. I also have an area set up over here in the back uh, for three chemical plants. This one is going to be the most important one, of course. It's going to have our plastic. And you. And that's six. Why did you turn around? Don't be difficult. There we go. Awesome. So this one is going to be the most important one. This one is going to be uh, our supply of plastic. This one is going to be our supply of solid fuels. And we're gonna use this guy over here so that we can clean our filters in future episodes. Okay, so we do have pipe laid underneath. I'm gonna come up the back go right here like that. There we go. And then this entire area is completely cut out. Here is the pipe that we have for gasoline. Whoops. Yeah, we have the gasoline pipe coming through here. And then this guy, I'm going to have to run all the way back to our gasoline. And let's see. Let's go above the ceiling. This is the other side that I'm working on, trying to make the same exact ceiling that we have in the other room. So let's go. We can go up this way. Up and over. All right, let's follow this pipe all the way back and see if we did it right. Gasoline and gasoline, perfect. And we're gonna pull off the line like this. Here. And here. Like that. And like this. Does it look right? I think it does. So the next thing that I definitely wanna do is I wanna unlock the magnetic craft conveyor belts. So let's go downstairs, grab some red research and some uh, green research so we can unlock the conveyors. Let's see, is it 100 of each? Logistics, two, 100 of each, perfect. So now we have them unlocked. Uh, I'm really excited about getting to logistics three for the item ducks. Logistics too. Let's go ahead and grab a stack of these guys. 
And then do I have gears? We're gonna need one, two, three, four, five stacks of gears. They're super expensive. Run back upstairs, we can make these new conveyors. And then we can hook up the coal line to all of our steam boilers and to our two chemical plants. So let's go conveyor belts and gears. Sixty-four of the magnetic craft conveyor belts. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna need more of these guys. But let's go ahead and see if we can complete our project with this stack first before I go crazy and use up all of our gears. Okay, so I do want to have it come all the way over here. We're gonna go this way. Like that. And like this. Right here, what I want it to do is I want it to come this way, like this. And now, are you gonna place? Nope, I need to turn this guy just that way. And are you gonna follow? Yeah, you're gonna place coal. Coal is gonna come up this way. Eventually, we're gonna just have the uh, inserters pull coal off of the line to feed into the hoppers. Uh, but for right now, we're going to ignore it so that the coal can actually make it all the way down here. And see, it's already putting this guy in. I do want to set this guy to whitelist. Okay, one. And whitelist coal. Alright, and I want you. Also, whitelist coal. That way we don't get any nasty surprises later. So are you already making us plastic? We got gasoline, we have coal, and what we do not have is power. So we need a connector here, connector here, and a connector here, as well as the pump. And before I forget, the pump does need a button. Oop. And let's go angled upwards, angled to the side. Yeah, let's not be stingy. There we go. So now we can go this way, like this. Good thing I can't electrocute myself anymore. Ha! <laughs> and like this. Sweet, now they should all have power. So now, look at that. We're making plastic. All right, compactor, let's make it with a crafting table. Since uh, I have gathered 11 crafting tables from the wild already, it's a lot quicker to just grab one of those than to make a steel gear. So we have this compactor here, and we're going to put you right here, and tag you with power as well. And let's go, let's put you here so that there's not too many wires. Alright, and you? I want recursing, no, 3 by 3s recursive off. And our you whitelist block of coal. There you go. Can I put you back? I cannot put you back. Let me put you in here real quick. There we go. And how about you? Solid fuel. There we go. Alright. And how is this looking? I have a different setup down here. All of them should pump out their pollution in front of this guy here, and it should pump up the top. 
They don't emit too much pollution, so I'm gonna have to sit here and stare at it for a while to make sure that it's working. Grab you there. Whitelist. Coal. And whitelist coal. There we go. Fill you in. Let's move you now. Whitelist coal. And whitelist coal. And these guys should always be full. So we already have a stack of 64 plastic, we have a stack of uh, 64 solid fuels, and we have the third machine here ready to clean the filters that we're going to be doing next episode. It's Tuesday, my dudes! <laughs> I let the machine run a little bit yesterday while I was doing some housekeeping. And uh, we have uh, 2,000 plastic already, so let's grab a stack. Uh, before we call it an end of the episode, I wanted to make a couple of uh, tech gun stuff. So I changed the conveyor belts a little bit so that it looks a little bit nicer and we can walk over it uh, so I don't feel like I have to jump over the end over here. So let's go downstairs and uh, let's unlock some stuff in the book first before we start making some items that are going to be pretty fun. So let's see, we do need to grab, under military, let's grab the assault rifle for 50, and we can grab the grenades for 20 apiece. So let's grab two stacks, two stacks, get some grenades, get the assault rifle. All right, that also unlocks the grenade launcher, whoa. Uh, we need military research for that, so we're not there yet, but soon. Oops, did I hit detect? Oh, I accidentally put it in there, whoops. So, military three, also military research. Turrets. These are the good ones. Unlocks zombies and husks. Hmm, I could have sworn we've been attacked by regular zombies. Maybe those are invasion-only zombies. So let's grab some more green research and some more red research since I foolishly hit detect instead of back. There we go, that unlocks the new turrets. These are pretty awesome. And uh, since we're here, let's go ahead and just finish the red and green in preparation, because you know we're gonna play with a grenade launcher later. <laughs> All right. Actually, let's see, there's something else. I wanna build this turret, but I also need to build a couple of items. Uh, one of them being the charging station, because my scanner from episode 1 has run out of RF. I need to scan this guy. So this guy, we can already build it. We need steel plates. We need gold wires. So that's a gold plate run through the wire metal press. We need basic control circuit. We need these coils, which are copper. Okay, we can do that. We're also going to need the this unfamiliar item here. So what does it say? It need, we need to know stage P15 first. And I'm assuming it's going to be this item, the unfamiliar item, which is the engine. So let's see, P15. Let's go A23, which is engines. Hmm. But since that recipe needs an engine, I'm assuming we're going to need to grab this. So let's go ahead and grab engines while we're here. There we go. P15. Processing. P25. P14. Ah, military processing. P15, which is 50 red research. We don't have... Oh, we had 29. It was a little bit of a lag spike. There we go. Okay, so P15 is military processing. Looks like it unlocks the metal press for, uh, yeah, obsidian steel. All right. 
And then while we're here, let's also grab this sulfur processing, because we did do this this episode. Let's go sulfur, so that sulfur is no longer an unfamiliar item for us. Power. I know we need power distribution too, but that requires blue research. We do have wind power and we have water power, which we can do for uh, some passive power. But that's not important right now. I don't want the episode to run too long. So let's go ahead and I believe that's all that we need for right now. So we need one engine. There we go, missing fluid pipes, of course. Do we still have some stuck in here? Yeah, I made a boatload of them. Are they still gonna? Yeah, it's still gonna make another stack. There, yeah, I, I, I had to use a lot of pipes. All right, so this should be one. Nice, okay. And then in the standard assembler, it's one steel plate, a gear, and two fluid pipes. So it's two steel cheaper to make it like this. So let's go ahead, we'll put this one here. And then let's make two of these guys. Two of these guys. Whoops. And then four of these guys, was that right? Yeah. Let's check the output side. We should have two engines coming through. Ooh, you're a little bit slow, buddy. So we have the charging station. That's the first one. I'm gonna skip the, the chemical laboratory for right now. Metal press. Uh, we do have a piston. We do have an engine, redstone and steel. That's our metal press. And then we also, I wanna make the ammo press as well. So we need lead and copper. And that's it. So let's grab, hopefully I have some lead made. Yeah, lucky. Hopefully, like, was it just one? Yeah, it was just one by itself. So let's go. What am I missing? Probably the copper. Why are these guys in here? I must have shift clicked by accident. Ammo press. So these are the three that I want to do. And let's go. We can hover, hit A, A, A to get rid of these guys. And let's go, oh, I didn't even notice. We got another pedestal. So let's go, another trophy right here. And let's set the these guys along the row right here because I do have this guy ready. Here, here, here. Oh, and I realized this. I put silk touch on my hammer and uh, I found mending off of a uh, what's it called? A loot bag. So I put it on my hammer so that I could get glass. And then I mixed up my hammers and I used this hammer to clear out the entire room downstairs. So, of course, I didn't get any experience and I wound up almost destroying my hammer. So, let's see if this works. I have stuff smelted. If I hold it, will you repair if I take this out? Doesn't look like it. No, bummer. Oh, it moved. I swear it moved. No. No. That moved. That definitely moved. So I can repair this guy by manually smelting stuff. Okay, that's that's pretty bad. <laughs> All right. But we do have lead. I'm pretty sure lead is gonna work and we can make some ammo. Okay, yeah, uh, there we go. Rifle rounds is pretty good. Nice, there we go. And steel? What does stack split mean? You, you, and I don't think it matters. I can leave the motor in here. I don't think the blueprint's gonna matter. And you. Missing it. Okay, there we go. And will this make me six? 64, there's 10 of each. So let's see, where is it? Yeah, turret. 10 of each makes one turret. So that should make six. 
All right, while those six are being made, let's grab some red research and grab this combat armor. Nice. And we did make more rifle ammo, right? Yeah. So let's split these in half. And let's put these guys over here. Let's make these the snipers. So, hold action will give you 32 bullets. And let's see. Target animals, no. PvP, no. Good stuff. And let's make you a sniper. Hold action. Half the bullets. Oh, perfect timing. Let's make the MP4 or the M4 assault rifle. So we need the plastic gun stock. That's why we needed plastic. Uh, let's see. We need the plastic gun stock, iron. We need glass. We need an empty assault rifle magazine. And we're going to need these obsidian steel that we just made. 47. And the barrel goes like this. Yes. So one barrel. Iron mechanical. Steel nuggets. Steel receiver. M4. Nice. Let's go ahead and put the AUG in here for now so that I can show you guys uh, a demonstration of the M4, of course. Looks cool! <laughs> okay, this gun, it doesn't zoom very well. It unlocks on. Oh, nice. Hmm, let's see. You should be in range, right? It is more accurate, it feels. <laughs> he turned around. Where are you going, buddy? definitely say that this was a very productive day. So now the next thing that we need to work on is definitely going to be, uh, we're gonna have to go towards making the filters so we can clean this sky. And then, wait, what is that over there? Why is there carbon on there? Why is there a whole bunch of carbon over here? Oh my goodness. Is that an Enderman? Did we unlock Enderman? Oh my goodness. Has it been raining over here? Oh, the polluted earth is making carbon. It looks like a zombie stuck in a tree over here. Let's see if we can... Oh, it's a husk. Oh, cool, it's our first husk. And this is... Uh, oh. oh no, what is this? Oh no. Baby hus. Dude. Bro, reload. Ah, uh, yeah, I can't see the end. Whoa. Gonna get 
rid of this stuff. It's just gonna keep spawning while I'm standing here, right? It's a riding a chicken. Oh my goodness. See you guys next episode. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like if you feel like I earned it, and also click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft every Sunday at 11 a.m. I left some videos here for you that I think you might like, but I'm not sure if the buttons work. Could you check and let me know? Do it.